Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody needs to change the dimension of this paddle to 110. If I understand them correct, how do I do that so it still matches the bottom match, uh, measurements? You can't just make the picture bigger because the scale is not going to go with it. So what you need to do is an embed of something you can scale. I'm going to take a two-point line and I'm going to holding down the control button to kind of get a perfect line. And hopefully I'm at 103. And I am. Good deal. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that line, hold down the shift key and select that line. You can see we have, well, I guess it doesn't say dimension layer. You know what I'm going to, I need to get that line. So there's a control curve. Go up here and get that line. I have two objects. I'm good. Hold, Keep holding down the shift and grab your picture. Then control G to group it. That took away that his other measurement. But now, and there's a couple ways you can do this, but the easiest thing for me to say is take this right here and you're at 100%. Go 107%. We're at 11. Don't go back. I mean, don't re-put it in another. Go back. Step back from your, uh, just uh, hit the undo button, and let's go 106. We're at 110. You've got to have something that's that the parallel dimension tool will move with, now, I can't remember what the measurement was. Um, see, it's changing the bottom two. And if that's not the case that you want, you could unlock this. I would imagine you'd want them both the same. So let's remember what this 7.19. So what this is going to do, it's going to fatten it up. but it's still 7.19 big or long. So that fatten, I would I would think that's not what he wants. Uh, I would think he'd want him just enlarge that to 1.1 and this would go accordingly, but I don't know. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.